as Germany clears up, the firefighters of Ahrweiler face a grim challenge. Every minute, they pump 12,000 litres of water from a flooded underground car park, but it's not the water that's worrying them. When the flood first came, locals saw plenty of people running into the car park, but they didn't see many coming out again. We well, think that there are 40, 50 cars in the, in the, in the second level, and we are worried that we find some or a lot of people in their cars. The prospect of more deaths hangs heavily across Germany, a nation still in shock. So while the firefighters continue their search of the flooded garage behind me, fearful of what they might discover, this town, this region, is struggling to come to terms with the devastation wrought by these floods. This is Germany, one of the richest, most sophisticated countries in the world, and it has been brought to its knees by nature. The historic centre of Ahrweiler is normally a tourist attraction, but now look at it. Debris piled more than six feet high, the roads full of thick, clinging mud. There is a sense of camaraderie here, but it's blended with bewilderment and even helplessness. On the edge of town is Christa's wrecked apartment. Possessions ruined and now discarded. Her son tells us the insurance won't cover this. His mother, in her 80s, has nothing. As for the river that caused all this pain and suffering, it now flows benignly. But the scars remain. Bridges broken, roads ripped up. Lisolette has lived by the river for six decades. She remembers one previous flood, but nothing like this, where the water reached so high in her house. Here can you see how far the water was standing. Everything was broken up to there. And then you can see here in the rooms how far the water was standing. Up to there, the kitchen, of course, everything was broken. Everything was broken. A stranger's van now lies in her garden, tossed there by the water. Cars are strewn around this town. Germany is a resilient nation, but the damage, the pain, the repair bill, they'll all be daunting. Adam Parsons, Sky News, Arweiler.